d maybe if we had more garbage bins, there would be less litter. So I ended up approaching the, the leader of the Pride Foundation at the time, Shadira Vane, and she really thought that a youth voice might help push forward this issue of trash bins. And then over the course of my time and involvement with the foundation, we ended up putting 17 garbage bins on the island. Yeah. And I found myself in parliament speaking on behalf of these organizations and town halls because of the platform they gave me. Okay. And uh, from a young age, I found the notion of impact. And that really motivated me and inspired me to do this professionally and academically. I wanted to study, I wanted to understand why C. Martin was so vulnerable due to the changes of climate, mm -hmm. how we were affected. I was interested in environmental policy. So I went to Northeastern University in Boston, and they have something called a co-op program where you do internships mm -hmm. for six months. So it's not a one-month, two-month internship. It's a six-month internship. So you're treated like a full-time employee. And my first internship I landed was the Environmental Protection Agency under the Obama administration in Washington, D.C. Really? Really. <laughs> that must have been special, I guess. It was really, really awesome. Mm -hmm. It was the last eight months of his administration, so I was one of his last interns. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. I understood environmental policy of how America was forming it. Mm -hmm. But then Trump got elected and all the work that I did. Okay, okay, okay. Leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Please, don't go to this Trump. This topic. No, okay. Well, I'll slip past that. Okay. Listen, uh, so have you any visionary idea or concept of what we might be able to do when it comes to um, helping climate and that kind of stuff? What yeah. about that plastic bag thing that they're going to be passing in in Parliament. You support something like that, I guess. 100%. The <laughs> foundations on this island, like Nature Foundation, Epic, and Pride, yeah. they have been advocating... By the way, I'm having a representative of the Nature Foundation on the, on the afternoon program today. So, oh, amazing. So we're talking... <laughs> primarily climate here yeah go ahead no mm. they have been really the steering advocates for this for a very very long time okay. and to see it happen and come to fruition today has <coughs> been an absolute amazing accomplishment for St. Martin okay. um, so that that's very very fulfilling I'm by no means an expert I feel like the the foundations on this island really yeah. know everything on a day-to-day -day basis but for me I think that the Caribbean region yeah has, you know, the Caribbean region produces less than 1% of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, but yet we are the most affected by the by changes it. in climate. Yeah. And that is disproportionate mm. and unfair. Uh 